Micah? 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 Slow down. You're saying Micah just vanished? Well, it was as if they had just ambushed his camp and burned it all. Do you think he's... gone? Well, the Aryan tribe isn't known to hold hostages. You aren't actually considering this, Chief. There's a ton of ways Micah could still be alive. He could have escaped, he could have been taken hostage, or maybe he burned his camp because he needed to hide somewhere else. Chief! Chief's right. We must assume he's dead until proven wrong. Ty, we need to keep this quiet. We don't need another upset after Shakoba's death. Did you tell anyone else? EC was the first one I saw. She knows. No! We cannot keep this a secret! We must send out a search party to look for him! He cannot be dead! Who's dead? No one. What is it? Well, as I see you're busy, I'll talk to you later privately. You have got to keep this quiet, Aelin. You will risk our tribe's safety and trust for us. But I know my wife. She will not take to keeping quiet easily either. You are her husband. I'm sorry, but this must be done. I will try. But you must not fail. If this gets out to Calfrey, there will be no stopping her. Where is she? You must find her now and tell her never to speak of it. Should I go back and investigate any further? No, I cannot risk losing you too. So, you said you liked my brother? No, that's just something my brother said to embarrass me. Are you sure? <laughs> I've known him all my life. I think I would know by now if I liked him. Nina? What? Can I ask you something? I guess. Okay. Well, I've always wondered. How did your mom die? Um, I was really young. We were about all two at the time, and Daddy told me Mommy got sick. They thought at first it was a common cold and she'd be fine, but then she got rashes everywhere. And her body became weak. For a whole week she was like this. Then it started to clear up. Daddy said he thought she was getting better, but then one night she got a really bad fever. First it took out her hearing, then her eyesight, then she died. And your dad? He cried for weeks and weeks. He felt so much guilt for thinking she was getting better. He wanted to stop doctoring. He had E.C. and Aylin take care of us for a few weeks because every time he saw us, he'd be reminded of her. He told us that one day he woke up and realized stopping doctoring the tribe would hurt it more. There would be no one to doctor or anyone to teach them. He still misses her. And I miss her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I need some fresh air. EC? What? Can I speak to you? Privately? Sure. Just a second. 
Did you tell her, um, about what happened? No. Why? Well, the chief has decided to keep it a secret. What? Yeah, I know. And you agree with this? You see, let me- No, I can't believe you. But- I will keep your secret, but only for the sake of Calfrey. Hey, honey. How are you? It's just been a hard day, Mom. What was it you needed to ask me? Well, as a chief, you need to find out who you would like to marry. You are of age. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Daddy? Dad?